how do I go about, I mean, I'm not wanting to be you, but have some of those same traits, those qualities of insight and understanding and critical thinking. Cause you know, those are things that I desire, you know, when, when I watch your videos, I'm just like, wow, you know, how, how can I think like that? How can I challenge myself to think differently so that it forces me to challenge my own thoughts and opinions even more and have a greater understanding of who Jesus is? That's a big question. My first, first answer is I have no clue. My second answer is I'm just all about quality over quantity. I'm not a theologian. I tried college three times. I was horrible at it. Um, all, I, all I know is when I'm reading the scriptures, I like I like to do it with the Holy Spirit. I like to imagine he, he's with me, and I like to really picture his partnership with me. He's teaching me. And, and when something is highlighted, I, I'm reading a scripture, and boom, you know, you know how you've read something, and you're like, ooh, that's interesting. When that happens, I stop reading, and I'm just on that. <laughs> and I can sometimes be on the same scripture for weeks. It's, I'm just locked in on that, because that's what the Holy Spirit is highlighting. Now, sometimes we've been taught, you got to keep reading. It's all about quantity. Read, 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 read. And so we can say, wow, I read, I read the whole Bible. It's like, well, oh, cool. I mean, that's great. Way to go. And now tell me about it, right? And so what I found is even when Jesus said, you know, eat my flesh and drink my blood, that word eat means to chew slowly. And I like the invitation that when we are studying and reading and doing our devotional times or whatever, chew slowly. Um, there's so much here, we, and we only know in part, according to the Apostle Paul. 